Hi and welcome to Mural Dreams by Laura. I'm Laura and today I bring you the Artsy Second Sunday art video collaboration organized by Martha from I Love to Paint Ayala Art. Every second Sunday of the month will bring you a seasonal thematic art video in different styles that can get you inspired to pick up a brush or a medium of your choice and get creative with colors. This month there were several themes to choose from and I chose the masculine theme I thought a perfect way to slip in another dragon because I realized I don't actually have a whole dragon painting yet. So here's how I painted a Chinese dragon on a 3 foot by 3 foot large canvas. I've already sketched the dragon in and I'm gonna start by putting in the background with black and white. I'm thinking of a cosmic background, I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll see, sometimes we just make it up as we go. Go grab a cup of tea and uh, we're gonna do this together, huh? Now that I have the background in black and gray, I'm gonna start blocking in the values for the dragon. Basically paint it in black and white so that I can see where are the darker parts, where are the lightest parts. So let's do that. So we've established the baseline for the background and the values of the dragon. So I laid in a, a lighter gray for the medium value, then I put in a darker gray for the darker value, and then a lighter highlight. I've also decided instead of the gradient background and the cosmic idea that I had to just do a plain black background, um, and I want to use the black 3.0 that I use for this painting, the one that is the blackest black, because I really like this uh, effect and I think it'll make the dragon stand out a lot more. So I'm going for a plainer background this time. As for the colors that I'll be using for the dragon, I'm choosing the Arteza metallic uh, paints. I'm doing the, the classic metallic. I'll drop a link in the description so you can check it out and pick it up if you want. The next layer that I'm gonna do on the background is still gonna be the regular black and then I'm gonna add the black 3.0 as a last layer. So this painting will have several layers, it's gonna have a lot of detail, and when I put in the next layer of background, it's gonna define a lot of the tentacly like shapes, <laughs> horny thingies, protrusions.
right now we're gonna turn this black into more of uh, that black with this paint over here use some of this pearl marmalade color too. Maybe it'll bring a little bit of color in my dragon. So now we're down to the smallest detail brushes and this is the detail phase and it's gonna be probably the most time consuming but also it's gonna be what gives our painting a lot more dimension and texture and it's really what's gonna bring it to the next level. Already starting to look a lot better, more and more contrast and definition, which is really good. That's what we're going for here. Still working on the detail for this dragon, and now I'm gonna put in the major highlights. And I'm imagining the light to come from the upper left, so I'm gonna put highlights only on these surfaces that face the upper left. So let's do that. It'll give it a three-dimensional effect. The mixture of the pearl white and the gold right here, I'm gonna mix them together and make that as the highlight. I might have to do several coats of this because this paint is quite transparent.
Okay, so right here on my palette, I have some black, some metallic cobalt blue, some green, some white strawberry red, and some pearl white from Arteza. YouTubers get YouTube chairs. This one doesn't know. Uh, this one doesn't squeak yet. Yeah. <laughs> 